Tua Tungo Vailoa, fresh off a record-breaking season where he threw for nearly 5,000 yards. You'd think the Miami Dolphins quarterback position would be settled, but some national media outlets are already stirring the pot. Analysts like Joe Klatt are pushing the Dolphins to draft college gunslinger Michael Penix Jr. in the upcoming draft. Their argument? Tua might not be the long-term answer Miami needs to reach the Super Bowl. However, Miami Dolphins fans are happy with Tua's development, especially after a full season without injuries. It's a head-scratcher for some to consider replacing a quarterback who just led the league in passing yards. The pressure is on for the Dolphins' front office. Do they stick with Tua and hope he builds on his success? Or do they take a chance on a rookie with a high ceiling but a risk of injury? The decision could define the future of the Miami Dolphins. Now, before we get to the rest of the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and support in whatever way you can. Thank you, Finnoak fam. Now, let's get back to the video. Penix is a tantalizing prospect with a laser arm that can thread needles through defenses tighter than a taxes lawyer's loopholes. But his injury history is a major red flag. Drafting him would be a gamble akin to going all in on red at the roulette table. You might score franchise quarterback, but there's also a strong chance you could walk away empty-handed. It's a decision that could propel the Dolphins to a Super Bowl run, but it also carried the risk of leaving them scrambling for a replacement mid-season if the injury bug bites Penix again. If you think the Dolphins should draft Penix, type MPJ down in the comments. Not everyone is ready to throw in the towel on Tua just yet. Xavier Howard, a Dolphins legend who's seen his fair share of talented quarterbacks, is a believer in Tua's ability. He's publicly stated his confidence that Tua has the talent and work ethic to lead the Dolphins to the promised land. His endorsement is a significant vote of confidence for Tua, reminding everyone of the potential he flashed during his record-breaking season. Now, the Dolphins find themselves at a crossroads. Do they stick with Tua, the young quarterback who defied injury concerns and put up eye-popping numbers? Or do they take a chance on the high-ceiling, high-risk prospect in Penix? The quarterback conundrum has Dolphins fans glued to their televisions, anxiously awaiting the decision that will shape the future of the franchise. If you think the Dolphins should keep Tua, type keep down in the comments. The pressure is on for the Dolphins' front office to make the right call with the draft looming. Will they play it safe with Tua, hoping he can build on his success and finally break through to the Super Bowl? Or will they swing for the fences and take a chance on the exciting but unproven Penix? Of course, all in the quest for a Lombardi Trophy. Only time will tell how this quarterback saga in Miami plays out. But here's a curveball thrown into the mix. The Minnesota Vikings just traded for another first round pick, giving them some serious ammunition in the draft war room. They could use those picks to snag a quarterback they love, but there's also a chance they could try to play a different game altogether. Trading for a proven QB, like, well, Tua Tumavailo from the Dolphins. Some analysts like Nick Wright believe the Vikings should offer those picks to the Dolphins for Tua. It would give the Vikings the stability at quarterback and maybe even calm down their disgruntled star wide receiver, Justin Jefferson. The Vikings are definitely looking for a long term answer under center, and this trade could solve all those problems in one fell swoop. But for the Dolphins, getting those precious first round picks might be tempting. However, considering they're already a team with a legitimate shot at the Super Bowl with Tua at the helm, trading Tumlo by Loa away might not be the smartest move. If you think the Dolphins should trade to or type trade down in the comments. The idea of trading to or actually came from Joel Klatt, the same analyst who wanted the Dolphins to draft Penix. He suggested they ship Tua off so they could draft Michael Penix Jr. This whole trade scenario might seem confusing, but here's the thing. If the Dolphins did trade with the Vikings for draft picks, as Wright suggested, they could then use those picks to guarantee themselves getting Penix. So, should the Dolphins trade Tumble by Loa? Here's the bottom line. While they might not be at their ultimate destination with Tua yet, trading him to the Vikings doesn't solve anything. Tomo Vailoa silenced Stouders last season by leading the league in passing yards. After a full season of a healthy tour, 
the Dolphins have their best season in a long time. Trading him away after that kind of performance would be a head scratcher, to say the least. The Dolphins are in a win-win situation. They either develop a young star in Tua or potentially acquire valuable draft picks to bolster their team while keeping a proving talent at quarterback. It's a decision that will have major ramifications for the future of the Miami Dolphins. I know where my stance lies, but where does yours? Let me know in the comments 